Are you tired of being a loser? A bloody pleb? Today I'll share you the secret of how to stay consistent. Not only that, but today's video is 10 times more valuable than the others. As this video is a live call from my White Room server, which you can find in the description below, as well as live questions and live interaction from viewers and actually helping them solve their problem of consistency. So when you guys hear, oh, there's no actionable steps, oh, there's no this, I'm actually gonna be helping people live. So with that being said, let's hop in the video and enjoy. So to start off, bro, all you guys have, like a lot of you guys who are not consistent have the wrong mindset about consistency. So I wanna explain this to a graph. So let me just show right here. So you got like the X, you got the Y, let's just name it. I don't wanna write consistency. But let's just say that you like started the one year white room program or pretty much literally anything you wanna do, like anything that you need to be consistent about. So let's just draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So for like the first like seven days, you'll be consistent. Then boom. One day, you won't be consistent. But here's the problem. Once you guys feel once, at least to like this weird stigma, and I'm only saying this because like not because I'm perfect, because I experienced the same thing. So once you guys like just fail once, it leads to like this weird stigma where the graph just takes like a whole 360 and you just come all the way down. So you go all the way up, you go down, and then you go a little bit up and all the way down. And then you just have like this new baseline. It's weird because it's like it's this all or nothing mindset that a lot of you guys have because it's been pretty much programmed into us from a young age by the media to be perfect. But also because failure gives us PTSD from school as when we fail a test. We get like a big red F. Some of us got beat. Some of us would feel like shit. This programming would always come up in real life. And although like, what is it? Seven out of eight days. That's like an 87.5% victory rate. Which is pretty like, which is pretty decent. But since you guys feel once and I mean like, this is what always happens for me as well. Like back in the day, whenever I feel once, I'd always just plummet all the way down. Like, in the chat right now, is that true for any of you guys? Absolutely, yeah. So, obviously, and like this is not just for like this program as well, since like a lot of you guys are just killing it, man. Like a lot of you guys are saying day 30, day 50, day 70, etc. Like, this is, like, the most impairment, I feel like, in, like, masturbation addictions. Because, like, say you don't fat for, like, seven days, and then you fat, like, once on the eighth day. And then, because of this, like, imaginary, like, retarded streak, that which doesn't really mean anything, it causes you to flip 360 and go linear in the wrong direction. But how do you overcome this? It's one, it's by understanding that you're actually going to fail. It's like this la la land that social media feeds you, that you believe like entrepreneurs are like on it every day. And even me, you think that I'm on it every day. It's because like, bro, people like Andrew Tate will literally admit that they doom school on social media. Doom, Luke Belmar literally admits that he's on doom school on social media. Bro, even Elon Musk, if you view that guy's Twitter activity, I mean like, dude, dude works like 24 hours a day. But bro, that dude's like scrolling on Twitter all day as well. And I would 100% guarantee you that no one's on it 365 days of the year. But now, let me show you guys something. So think about it like this. Say you failed one day per week. And there's 52 weeks in a year. So pretty much that means for 52 days, you fail. So you do 365. Right, let me write this down. So there's 52 weeks. in a year so that leaves and you fill one day each week so that's pretty much like 52 days 
Builds or not. Okay. There's 52 days. So now we had to do 365 minus 52. And that equals like 313 if I'm right. And then, then we do, since we have 313 now, we can divide that by 365. And what you get is like probably like around like 1.110. So that's pretty much, even if you fail 52 times this year, which you may have already have, you probably already spent like 32 of them. That means that like you still have 110%. Oh my God. You have a 110% consistency rate, which is actually fucking crazy. Like, don't you guys understand that now? And then, like, second is that, like, failure is so important. Because, bro, a lot of the people who are ahead of us, even me right now, the only reason I can tell you guys this is because I failed more than all of you guys. A lot of you guys think that moving forward is the only direction forward. But, bro, it's like a circle. Like, say, like, this is, like, the place you want to go. But I'm not saying, like, this is not always works. It's not, like, always, like, like, always works. But, like, there's sometimes, like, you can just be a loser and just fucking failing and being an idiot. But, like, say this is a way forward. This is, like, not the only way forward. Because, like, you can also, like, there's not be times where you're going to be stuck, pretty much. And the only way you can actually move forward is by taking five steps back in the opposite direction three four five but then start moving forward in a whole different way so you can move 20 steps up so you need basically it goes back to economics when they say you need to take one step back to move two steps back to move two steps forward and a lot of you guys think oh i failed oh my god probably abu now i need to reset everything no the reason why you failed is probably because you need to is because you need to take five steps back so you can take 20 steps forward. And lastly, the only way to defeat this mindset, so there's two ways to defeat this mindset that not all you guys have, but like some of you guys have who fail with consistency. The second thing is this tracking. So this is what worked for me. So to beat this type of mindset where everything just fucking just plummets all the way down after seven days is one by understanding this and also by tracking. So you know how they say, whatever you don't track doesn't progress. And what helped me become better is the tracking, the amount of nuts I take per day, screen time per day, and bank balance and anything else. Like you guys see it right here, easy tracking sheet. I'm not gonna click on it because it's kind of personal, but <laughs> I literally just put it in an Excel sheet. And having this just lets me see the patterns and trends of my own life. And boom, you'll see like, oh, if you look at days that have over six hours of screen time, I'm more likely to fap on those days. So boom, I just don't need to have six hours of screen time. I mean, it's not that it's not that like simplistic, but you'll see patterns and trends just like that. And you and there may be like some really evident trends that are just going on in your own life that you need to just work out. And like boom, like the second my phone gets to four hours, like I stash it away. And that's just like an example, but you guys know what I mean. So like this graph, like I said, might, might not apply to all you guys, but now I want to talk about the next thing. So let me just erase this. And bro, this might like shock you guys. Hopefully it doesn't shock you guys. But like the main thing about consistency, does any does anyone want to guess what the main thing you need to be consistent is? By the way. All right, someone in the chat right now, try to guess what's the main thing that you consistent uh you need for consistency. <laughs> Say someone said discipline. It's a bit laggier. I'm listening, but the screen's still loading. It's not be recorded anyway. Discipline. All right, does no one does everyone agree with that? <laughs> okay, it seems like everyone I actually disagree. It's not discipline. Because bro, if it was discipline, then you guys probably wouldn't be having this problem. I mean, like, what even is discipline at the end of the day? Like, honestly, like I couldn't even I mean, I know what like doing the hard work when you don't feel like it. But like I disagree. What got me to be consistent, what got everyone I know to be consistent is fun. 
Because the fact is, like, you can force yourself as much as you want, but something that's not aligned to your nature and doesn't stimulate you, I mean, that's just basically a face fancy way of saying fun. It is impossible to stay consistent doing it. Like, your life needs to be a state of play. Like, anyone at the top of their field, Khabib, Elon Musk, all those guys, they love the game that they're playing. That's why Khabib still trains 24 hours a day, bro. Like, you see that guy just wakes up, trains, everything, but he's retired. He doesn't even have a championship, like, belt to fight for. He's just training for fun because that's what he loves doing. And Elon Musk, he's a billionaire, but he still works more than majority of entrepreneurs. He works, like, 24 hours a day. But that's because that's what they want to do. So that's why I say, like, you, I, we'll just get to that later. But like, bro, I'm like the most consistent YouTuber in this niche. Like I have over 300 videos. And why? Because one, it's fun. Like I wouldn't be doing this. Like it's not discipline to be like making videos. Like if I was forcing myself to make videos, like 50 videos into it, I'd be like, bro, screw this shit. Because 50 videos into it, I wasn't getting the results that most people wanted. So like you just quit there. Two, the reason why I upload like over 300 videos for Fame Man Technique, you guys know, if you get, you guys should probably know what that is. And three, I get to meet people like you guys. So look, I want to show you guys a real life example of, can you guys see my screen, right? I'm going on YouTube. If you see, like, if you look at this nameless mind, bro, this guy, one, is not consistent. Two, he probably didn't even like making these videos. Like, if you see, like, his, if you like, just do some research onto this guy, like, let's click on his community post. You see, like, he made, like, seven videos. Oh. I mean, like, bro, I know, like, majority of, like, the channels in this niche was, like, I don't know, trying to do good on YouTube. I just started researching everyone. Holy smokes. I mean, like, look, they made, like, seven, he made six videos. Six months, which is, like, fucking crazy, in my opinion. They're not even that high quality. And boom, like, merch, editing course, like, et cetera, et cetera. Like, dude, dude doesn't really care about, like, the process of the journey. He's trying to make a quick buck. That's what I'm trying to talk about. Life is, like, living according to your own nature. If you're trying to stay consistent studying for, like, two years. All right, let me try to make the thing relevant. Let's study. So you're trying to stay consistent studying for two years. And you fucking hate it. And maybe you can get consistent by mentally fucking torturing yourself, but most of the time your brain will outfuck you, to be honest. You're not going to be able to study for two years if you don't like studying. And while at the fun topic, let's talk about, like, oh, someone writing in the chat. Can you modify your own nature and force yourself do your environment? No, you can't force yourself. Like, your nature is like a, a burning fire. You can't just throw things into it. It's just going to come out burnt. That's why, like, for example, like, your nature is like a burning fire. Like, hopefully. Oh, my God, I can't. It's, I'm on mouse. So, say you throw nature. It's still studying in nature. Bro, it's going to come out burning. That's why, like, someone like me, like, I get good marks, but I never study because I hate studying. I only like studying things I actually enjoy studying. And while we're at the fun topic, let's talk about how important it is to have a mission. Bro, your brain seeks comfort. Look, for example, if you were to masturbate, you were, you're basically telling your, your brain doesn't understand the context of anything in life. So if you're, for to masturbate, you're telling your brain that you're at the top of social hierarchy. Every day, you're making babies. That's what it thinks it is every time you, like, release something. And with the girls you see in those videos. And, bro, if you're constantly doing that, your brain is going to fucking regress and not produce more testosterone. Why? Because you're the top of social hierarchy. It already thinks that you're the best. So you're not going to wake up early in the morning because your brain is in a state of comfort. Like, even right now, a lot of us are extremely sheltered, including me. We have no reason to wake up at like 5.21. I woke up at like 4 a.m. Yeah, it's possible to wake up. But with your brain actively fighting against you, it's going to be much harder. And you could be a David Goggins type of guy. 
But bro, I bet that dude likes running. <laughs> like I swear he probably likes running. So you need a heroic mission to as your purpose for waking up. Like today, when I woke up at 4 a.m., bro, I never even wake up this early due to many reasons, like such as like adequate sleep, recovery, overall, like there's no really like a real reason for me to wake up this early. But the re the real reason why I was able to wake up today is because I had this live call and I had you guys waiting for me to come talk so obviously my brain knows now that it doesn't matter how i feel i need to wake up because it's my mission too and that's like what everyone was lacking that's what i was lacking for like a large part of my life as well you need to create a mission so that when you actually need to wake up at 5 a.m there's an actual reason to wake up there's an actual reason to be consistency because if you're going to wake up and your only reason to wake up is like meditate for five minutes and then read for like five hours Bro, your brain is not going to wake up. Like, why would I want to do that? And I don't know what that can be for you, but it's something you need to discover on yourself because, like, you need to find something that's according to your own nature. And, like, bro, lastly, I mean, I'm going to keep going, but there's no secret trick to consistency. And I always say secret trick. Because that's always something I try to find from YouTube videos. Like, I'm always thinking, oh, is there, like, a secret piece of information that if I just find it's not going to solve everything? No, there isn't any secret. Into, there's no secret trick. Why? Because I watch all those videos. Most of the time, when someone is not consistent, I can just ask you guys. I can just ask you guys two questions for all you guys here. All right, let me answer that question in a bit. So, one, is what you're doing fun? Two, are you on your heroic mission? And if you can't answer these two things, yeah, no shit, you're not consistent. And even if the long run, if someone's so consistent and he hasn't said yes to these two things, he's obviously going to fail. So once you have these two things, you'll literally be the one who's forced to go to sleep due to the, how much amount of work you want to actually do. Uh, let me answer this. Let me give you examples. So I really want to like engineering. I want to get in the best polytechnical in university in my country and study electrical engineering. Now I'm in high school. I'm very passionate about math and physics. I'm good at it. And I'm also working hard at those. But my chemistry is, I hate studying it. Yeah, I hate studying chemistry as well. It's hella boring. It is one of the lessons that I'm going to be taking as an exam for my entrance to is any ideas how I can force myself to study in chemistry so I can be more disciplined and consistent on it in my experience the best way to enjoy subjects is going back to bed really hitting after meditating at least because yeah for me i would say there is times that you're just gonna have to force yourself to do shit because in my opinion like there is things i hate doing for example i hate editing <laughs> like i don't even edit most of the time but I hate editing, but there's still something I need to do because for my overall heroic mission and for my overall enjoyment, there are things that has to be sacrificed. And this is like the whole, this is the whole, like, this is how your mission actually is actually hard. It's how you put in extreme difficulty. So this is like the points where you actually had to use discipline and actually need to force yourself to not, you just need to force yourself to do it. Like you don't need to put any f emotions into studying chemistry. You just need to study. So like so you like the product the per the pro purpose of the process. I don't really, I don't like the process. I like the destination. But there's many things I hate, not just editing. There's a lot of things. There's a lot of things, but there's still you still need to do it. And for just electrical engineering in general, they're probably like, you don't really need to like school to be good at it. I'm not, I don't like math, but I'm still really good at math. All right, now I want to talk about something else. But, like, for that chemistry, like, what I would just do is just, like, like, your brain is so easy to manipulate. Like, for example, just study chemistry, but every time you study, like, every time, like, you do a homework page, just reward yourself with, like, a candy bar or something. Or, like, something that you actually feel like you would actually enjoy. 
and just basically just treat your brain as like a like a pig and you just put a carrot on a stick and you just bring the pig oh do this i'll give you that but lastly i just want to talk about some real shit the human psyche because when it comes to like consistency the funny thing is is that like you could legit become david goggins tomorrow or even like right now because it's like it's only you versus it's only you versus you the entire battle as a man is the battle between him and his psyche and the fact is is that our thoughts and brain is in our friend because we know how many times our brain has fucking sabotaged us self-sabotaged us countless of times like our brain is literally lying to us all the time like your brain like people think that they're addicted to something like people think like they're addicted to like smoking weed but it's your, just your brain addicted to that dopamine release your brain doesn't know what it's doing it just wants that dopamine release but you you're here thinking that you're actually you need the weed that's why i believe that like our whole battle like for our in this whole life is our battle between our mind i was like bro you can get scared like even religion even the religion like backs us up like the seven deadly sins are all in our mind like i don't know like greed i don't want to list all of them greed gluttony lust these are all, everything that's according to our mind that's what i believe no so once all right i already said that so once we destroy our mind and become detached by the thoughts because bro i believe your thoughts are also retarded like i believe like you shouldn't be thinking most of the time i mean like take that with some nuance but like you should be detached to your thoughts and try to destroy your mind and just do whatever you want to do because bro you'll be getting thoughts all the time like i'm tired and i want to sleep but once you like be able to be detached by the thoughts that's why meditation is good you will be led to riches but i don't know why but like also this is some bonus thing i want to add it feels like traumatic experiences like in our childhood or actually like extremely beneficial because bro if you ever like see like people like mike tyson like as a kid they were always like abused or like there's always some like next shit going on so like there's probably a lot of us who are probably here like right now because we were like made fun of when we were like in elementary or you were rejected in like fourth grade this is what usually makes you successful because you should be using this to feel you and like bro i'm only here because i also used to get made fun of so like these thoughts like in my brain are just like always you bringing me back and it just goes back to that like you can it's like two different pathways you can go like you can go there you can go there like you have like this trauma in you which we all have and you can go either to the path of like self like success or you can go to, to the path of failure most people go to the path of failure to be honest but that's just the way i see it and then lastly before i like start taking questions and stuff like do you know that quote it's like you're the only one who can make this work and you're the only one who can fuck this up that's why i just believe this is all in your mind and for the most part our battle let's see what you guys say Hi, so there's some questions I'm going to answer real quick. If you have any more, I'll answer in the live call. But what are your guys' thoughts so f- on like so far on what I said? Was it helpful? Hi. One, are you good at your studies? Yeah, I'm like a 90 average. And I made like honor roll every year of high school. What are your grades? I already said that. Have you personally done all your challenges? Yeah, these challenges are pretty much like what I do every day. Cause like, it's not really a challenge. When I, 
my challenges are like not really like extremely hard like maybe like the main task shit when you have to like wake up at 5 a.m and run like five kilometers like i don't do that every day but that's what makes it actual challenge and yeah i've done the 30 day the 30 day on a koji challenge i'm basically doing a run your white roman one as well are you gonna make another challenge can you give a hint on what it is yeah it's gonna be a solo leveling 30 day like type challenge who's your role model i don't really have any because i like learning from everyone but i'd say mainly it's the the art profit do you think you're the right person to get self-improvement advice to others this is actually a really good question because bro if you really think about it if you were to take advice from someone like andrew tate or like elon musk they are like so far ahead from like the normal person they're like 20 steps ahead from the normal person and i don't want to sound arrogant but i'm probably like like, I don't want to sound arrogant, but I'm probably, like, only, like, five steps ahead from the normal person. Overall, I'd use my channel as, like, a fame and technique so I can reinforce my own learning. So, yeah. I mean, like, you can, anyone can say anything. A major thing that would make the server more productive if it would be more competitive. Yeah, a lot of people like the simplistic style. A lot of people want to see new stuff. I mean, bro, as you guys know, this, pro- the, this product literally started as, like, a slideshow, then I added a server now i'm adding live calls and i'm just making it way better and like bro it's only like eight dollars and i'm just trying to just make it as like packed with value as possible so maybe i'll do that i don't know how to use this course so i don't know if i'll even be able to do that maybe i should learn we'll see <clears throat> all right all right <laughs> what the fuck Oh, someone just said a question and I clicked out. What were your expectations of this community, especially when it comes to the average intellectuality of the people here? Do you ex- yeah, I think my expectations were matched. Like, I had a Discord server with, like, around, like, 2,000 people. And, like, most of the people here... <clears throat> are kind of like edgy and they kind of see um i don't know they have like a weird hollywood perspective on like manipulation and this whole on the cody stuff but a lot of you guys are actually like genuinely pretty smart and a lot of you guys are like we're all like pretty much have like the same type of personality like i bet like a lot of you guys here like istj's personality types like that's pretty much the people who are on the server because like like-minded people attract but yeah, bro, there's some people who are actually killing it in this program as well, which I'm really like, which I really didn't expect, to be honest. And overall, did you guys like like the lecture or like is there stuff I should improve on? Did I actually did anything I say make sense? I don't know if you're speaking, but I can't hear you. Your mic is like muted. What's up, Brian? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
ほう。Well, like, currently, like, due to, like, great, like, do, I'm, like, on my path to university this year, so I'm not doing any martial arts, but I've been doing every week, like, hard sparring with my friends, no headgear. And we're using like 14 ounce gloves. So, how, how much ounce gloves were you guys fighting with? How much ounce? Yeah. Yeah. Personally, I'm going to say it's all in your head. And, like, unless, like, was he, like, trying to knock you out? No, but, like, Were the person hitting you with the intention of knocking you out? Like, was it hard? Yeah, then it's definitely like in your head. Because,、yeah. like. No, personally, I just feel like it's a waste of time. Just don't care. In my opinion, just try to be detached. Because, bro, if you just, you just think about it logically. If you think about it logically, like, there's so many fighters right now who've been hit a thousands of times. Majority of them don't really have brain damage. Yeah, I understand. I understand. Like, it depends. Like, what are your goals? Like, do you just want to be like a nerd, or like, do you want to be able to like be like all encompassing and like be able to hold your own? Yeah, it's a good mix. Now, I understand what you mean because, like, people like Albert Einstein, Nikola Tesla, like, they didn't ever d i d physical alterations. Like, they always kept like, their head like, really safe. But also, like, I believe, like, I'm just like, be honest, like, it's all in your head because, like, bro, I've been hit like so many times really hard. And, like, it's always like my friend as well. Like, he thinks whenever you, like, just believe something, you're, it's actually going to come true. So if you just keep believing that you're going to get brain damage, eventually your brain is going to give you actual damage. Yeah. So, like, maybe you should start believing that every punch you take actually makes you smarter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. But, like, Yeah, to s e n d it, I'll just say it's all in your head. And honestly, like, yeah, honestly, like, maybe you should, like, not, if maybe if you should go to academics, just stop sparring. Maybe just do body shots only. Yeah. Yeah, for me, like, it's kind of like a. Yeah. Oh, man. Nice speaking to you, man. What's your name? George, man. Nice to meet you, bro. All right. So I'm going to move on. If,、uh, is there anyone else?、Uh, I'm going to invite everyone else. The poker boy, like, I can't hear you.、Uh, you're not speaking. Can't hear you. Your mic's not on. Okay. He just left. All right. He just left and rejoined. Let me invite him to speak again. Okay, so I think Poker Boy has something to say. And then I also invite all you guys if you guys want to say something, and then we're going to end it off.、Mm. Oh, yo, your mic's working now. Yeah, what's up, bro? How you doing? I'm great, man. How are you?
What's your question? Man, do you have access to like a proper gym with weights? Yeah, because like personally, like if you're just thinking about like the most effective way to build muscle, it's pretty much like bench press. But like, yeah, that's a that's a great suggestion as well to record yourself every time you do push-ups but like what exactly like is your problem like when doing push-ups like what's exactly the problem and why does it matter I mean, like, does it matter? Like, I do push-ups, like, when I do push-ups, I don't really care. Uh, okay, so, obviously, I'm not, I just want to, like, to be honest, like, the person inside of me just wants to say that, like, who cares? Just move on. But, like, actual practical advice I can actually give you is that, one, just make your hands shoulder width apart so you, you're at, like, the same place every time. So pretty much, just put your shoulder, put your hands out, and just naturally, the width from your shoulders um make you allow you to just put it in the same place every way. Just put it like shoulder width apart, pretty much. Two, like do like a put it your elbows in, like just record yourself every time you do push up, so you'll be able to see. Like, do you understand? All right. Thank you. Yeah, that's a Uwe Nickel. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Yeah, you can ask something. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. Like, sometimes like, you might not be able to achieve perfect form because you're not even strong enough. Because that's what used to happen to me when I first started doing push ups. Okay, protagonist on to ask like the last question. Okay, and then I'm going to leave. And then I also invited someone else to speak if they want to speak. This guy's typing for a while. I struggle to keep myself woke up after I wake up before sunrise. Alright, it's actually a good question because this actually ties back to the consistency lecture. I struggle to keep myself awake after he wakes up before sunrise because I always, like, I always wake up before sunrise. And there's a couple ways, if that's just your question, there's a couple ways to answer this. So, one, every time you wake up, you should go directly outside. It doesn't matter if the sun is up because, look. Like, I don't know how to explain it, like, do, like, the actual terminology, but, like, say the brightness level in your room is, like, 0 0.03. Even if it's, like, fully dark outside, the brightness level outside is, like, 1, like, 0.5789. So, right when you, 
hop outside, you're going to get direct exposure from the sun and get direct exposure to like a crazy amount of brightness. You're going to wake up right away. Two. Two. You can't. Two. Like I bet. Yeah. This guy's betting facts. And then also, you pretty much can't answer these two questions. One, if what you were doing is fun, you would not be struggling to be awake. And two, you're probably not on a heroic mission either. If you have these two things answered, you're going to be able to stay awake quite easily. C can you answer like those two questions? One, you're, you're having fun. And two, you're on your heroic mission. Because like, I doubt. Because like, I like, bro, I'm not lying. Like I woke up at 4 a.m. today. It's like 5, um, 52. It wasn't hard to keep myself awake. I just went outside, got some sunlight, opened my eyes to the brightness. Two, what I'm doing is fun. I'm talking to you guys. And three, this is pretty much my heroic mission. Like, I'm still looking for my heroic mission, but we can say this. It is. And he's typing right now. I'll just finish this. Having fun in the morning is bro, no way. Admit that I use to run. I mean, that would wake you up. But let's be honest. Majority of the population is not running right when they wake up. I mean, if he could do that, he probably wouldn't be asking this. Having fun in the morning is, bro, no way. Bro, why can't you have fun in the morning? But I have stream stream motivation some days, bro. Motivation does not matter, bro. We're talking about fucking consistency. We're talking about things like discipline. I mean, like, I don't even use discipline because, like, why? But I feel like discipline is, like, something you need to bring out when you're doing things that you extremely don't like. But majority of the time, to just stay consistent in the long period of time, you need to do what, you're been, what you need to do is, like, what you're doing needs to be fun. I have a problem running because there's a shit done, a shit ton of snow every morning. I have a snow halfway up to my knees. You can just do burpees at your house. You don't need to run all the time, like, outside. Or, yeah, I think burpees is, like, the hardest exercise, like, the most cardio exercise. Or you can do Navy SEALs, if you understand what that is. It's basically a burpee, but when you go down, you do two push-ups, and you come back up. But I have stream motivation some days, like, okay. Okay, let me just wrap this up, and then... Yeah, jump rope is actually great. One kilometer of running. How many burpees equivalent to? I think. Oh wait, that's kind of hard. I'd say it would probably be around one kilometer. Like one kilometer is kind of sh long, but also kind of short. I would say it's like probably around like thirty burpees. I'm gonna put 30. Okay, protagonist, are you good? I'm about to end this off then. Yo, thank you guys for staying here, bro. I'm honored for your time. But yeah, man. That's it for today, bro. Thank you guys for listening, bro. Thank you guys for just, like, hearing me out. It's been a pleasure, man. See you guys, man, and have a nice day.